Polymers are um, made up of monomers. So poly meaning many, mono meaning one. So you take the monomer and you repeat it thousands of times and you get the polymer. Um, alkenes are the monomer. They're usually joined together when they break their double bond. So if you look down here at our example, ethane, that double bond is going to break to allow the carbon um, to bond on this side and then the carbon to bond on this side. So these two pieces right here is what used to be the double bond. The monomer's chemical nature determines the properties of the polymer. Um, the major product is of organic chemistry in the industries for polymers is plastics. Um, structures are shown as a repeating unit. So you always want to make sure that you include a line saying that it can continue to chain that direction and then a line on this side to say that it continues this direction in parentheses with that letter N, just meaning that it can be repeated over and over and over again. Sometimes the questions say to draw four repeating um, so that they can see that you understand how it repeats. Um, here are some examples. Um, so Teflon is made from tetrafluoroethylene. That double bond will break, allowing the carbon to bond again on either side. So here is the monomer, and then it's repeated <clears throat> three more times. Um, here we have chloroethane. That double bond is going to break and allow, whoops, right in there, the carbon to join on either side. Um, and so then you make PVC, that plastic for pipes, PVC pipes. All right, so let's look at an example or two. So what polymer can be made from this structure? You would take that double bond, you would break it and allow the carbons to form bonds on either side. So if you were to break that, the carbon carbon, the first carbon has a chlorine pointed up and a hydrogen pointed down, and then it's gonna be able to join on this end. The carbon over here has a hydrogen on the top and a chlorine on the bottom, and then it can join on this end. So if we needed just to write one, then we could write it like that. If we needed to show it repeating over and over again, we would take that structure. All right, so there that structure is, and then we would repeat it. So the carbon is gonna bond to that first carbon. And we could repeat it again if we wanted to. So you're just repeating this pattern um, you just have to make sure that you put the molecules, or I'm sorry, the atoms in the correct spots when you break that double bond. Um, so here is this polymer repeated a couple of times. Now down here for the second example, when this double bond breaks, the carbon is going to extend itself in a chain. So that first carbon has two hydrogens bonded together and then the second carbon has a chlorine on the top and a hydrogen on the bottom. So there's my um, polymer uh, repeating pattern there, the monomer that's gonna be repeated. So if we wanna repeat it a couple times here, just to see what it would look like, we have that first carbon with two hydrogens on it, the second carbon with a chlorine, and then we repeat two hydrogens, chlorine, hydrogen, repeat. So here you can see that that monomer is repeated for the polymer three times. Um, but we could continue going on forever, so you have to make sure that you show those bonds on either end, showing that it can continue to bond.